Let us pray. Holy Father, we ask you to open our hearts and fill us with your holy presence on this very special occasion. We give thanks to Ida and George for their beautiful hearts and willing spirits and for the example of love that they embody here today. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate this tender moment in their lives. Amen. Ida and George, in their devotion, respect, and love for each other, wish to unite in a holy bond of matrimony and to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as life mates and partners. It is truly a blessing from heaven when two people find one another and fall in love so deeply, which leads to a union based on true love. On behalf of our couple, I welcome you all. Marriage is a gift from God, a miracle. After speaking to you both, it is obvious that you already know the next step, which is holy matrimony. Marriage is about trust, friendship, and having a partner to share all the great things life has to offer. Marriage is a supreme sharing, perhaps the most greatest and most challenging adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. Those who take its sacred vows have their lives blended together into one as the waters of two rivers are joined when they come together to form 
an even greater one. A true spiritual marriage. It's a profound mystery of creation and rebirth as the two become one. But it's not a loss or giving up of oneself, but rather a giving over oneself to something even greater, a transformation. It is a process in which each to be, can be challenged to discover new possibilities in themselves and each other. Marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but instead to be entered into with total love and devotion. Love is an act of endless forgiveness, a tender look, which becomes a habit. I ask you to please continue to face each other and look into each other's eyes so that you may see the gift they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years. These are the hands that will hold you tight when fear or grief comes your way. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes and give you support and encouragement to chase down all your dreams. These are the hands that you will hold tight and never let go. These are the hands you hold now with love and affection as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. Lastly, these are the hands that when you come upon your golden years, will still be reaching for yours and give you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Together as husband and wife and as a family, you will work together with these very hands to make all your dreams come true. I now ask you both, do each of you enter into this marriage of your own free will? Uh, George, there was a slight delay in your response. We <laughs> you do. Very good. And so we come to the presentation of rings by which we symbolize and bind your love. May I have the rings? Let us pray. Uh, don't jump the gun. <laughs> Heavenly Father, bless these rings and this couple who exchange them. Fill them with your joy and presence. Keep them safe in the circle of your protection and love. Amen. A ring is a circle, so shall your love be a circle, with no beginning and no end, complete forever. For you see, the circle is a symbol of God and a reminder of the love that you hold for one another today, tomorrow, and forever. George, as you place these rings on Ida's left ring finger, I now ask you, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise God, Ida, and all of us here that from this point forward, your arms may be her shelter and your heart may be her guide? Do you promise to support her and nourish her and to love and respect and honor her for the rest of your days on earth? If so, please answer, I do. I'd have placed this ring on George's left ring finger and I now ask you, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise God, George, and all of us here from this point forward, your arms may be his shelter and your heart may be his guide? Do you promise to support him and nourish him and to love and respect and honor him for the rest of your days on earth? If so, <laughs> if so please answer, I do. Well, this is one of my favorite times at a wedding where I get to speak. And I will tell you today, God blessed you by moving a storm away. God blessed you and all your friends and family here that came out to visit to share in that special moment with you. Each one of them will have a piece of advice for your marriage. 
take that advice and place it into your heart and use it when you know the time is right. But there's one thing that family kind of get a little wrong. I've heard many say, a marriage is based on 50%, 50%. I disagree. A marriage is based on 100%, 100% every day, every night for your entire lives. Enjoy the sweet things life has to offer. During its times of sadness, use each other's strength to overcome everything. Keep God on your side. Because with God on your side, who dares stand against you? So without any further ado, continue to hold hands. The two of you are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever you go, may you always return to one another in your togetherness. May you two find in each other the love for which all men and women long. May you grow in understanding and in compassion. And may the Lord keep you and bless you forevermore. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Ida and George, in the presence of God, your family and friends here today, you have spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives. By the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, I am honored to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss your lovely bride. Thank <laughs> you.